Okay, so when we, I'd said that the bulk of today's lecture is going to be talking about gene expression. And over my head, you can see a sign that says central dogma of biology. What does that mean? This, this is the central principle of cell biology. And basically what it says is that we have genes that can be copied into a copy of a gene, which is an RNA molecule. And when you, in order to copy that gene, there's a process called transcription. And then once you get that copy of that gene, we had said now it's small enough to leave the nucleus and it goes out into the cytoplasm and it gets translated into a protein. And so that blueprint is used to build a protein. Now, in reality, when we talk about this uh, in this flow of information, the RNA we're talking about is something called a messenger RNA. Um, we have two other kinds of RNA, uh, rRNA, which is ribosomal RNA, and it's made the, through transcription. And we have a transfer RNA, and it's also made, uh, you know, as a copy of a gene, but it has a different function. It has functions out in the cytoplasm. So, so when we really are saying we have a copy of a gene, it's going to be something called a messenger RNA. And um, and so what are these things? This is an RNA, um, RNA single-stranded RNA copy of a gene. And it literally is the blueprint for building a protein. It literally says, take this amino acid and attach it to this other one and attach the next one and the next one and the next one. It literally tells you the sequence of the 20 different amino acids that are gonna be combined together to build our protein. So, so what happens? So we're gonna focus on, we say, we're just gonna say that out in the cytoplasm, we have transfer RNA. And what we're gonna say is that these things are gonna be carrying the different amino acids. And we're also out in the cytoplasm going to have ribosomes. And they're made of RNA, two pieces of RNA. But now, then what we're focusing on though is the messenger RNA, which is this copy of this gene. So let me look at my notes here and see where we are. Um, the messenger RNA is formed from a gene and it leaves and goes out into the cytoplasm. We've said that. And then what does it do? It joins up with those two other kinds of RNA, the ribosomal RNA and those transfer RNAs, which are something that you had never heard of until now, or maybe you've heard of them, but in my class, you hadn't heard of them. And they're going to be carrying the different amino acids. So all of those things are gonna come together and be used to build a protein. And this building of this protein, it's not called transcription, it's called translation. So, so this is what we're gonna be talking about. Now, it ends up that it's not as straightforward as maybe we would like. So let me, let me look at my notes here. And All right, so first of all, some basic stuff. Um, in order to make a copy of a gene from the DNA, we have to use something called RNA polymerase. All that is, is it's saying that it's going to make RNA and it's going to produce a polymer. And so rather than, you know, when it's reading off of the, the DNA, instead of putting together DNA nucleotides, it's going to put together RNA nucleotides that are complementary to the gene, to the nucleotides in the gene. So you make this 
long, single-stranded RNA from that gene. Now, if we were a bacterium, that would be the end of it. We, it would, we would say, okay, we've got this messenger RNA. It's ready to be made into a protein, but we are not. It's good. I mean, I don't want to be a bacterium. Do you? Uh, we are people, right? <laughs> so we do things in a more complicated manner. So what happens is it ends up, for whatever reason, that inside of that gene, there are nonsense regions. So what happens is that messenger RNA, that um, pre-messenger RNA, which is literally directly read off of the gene, well, what happens is that has to be modified. So you cut out the nonsense portions. So, so when we are talking about this messenger RNA, um, there's going to be things called introns and exons. And so we had said it's a long piece of RNA, and the introns are the junk. There's junk in between, and so if you look at slide number seven, if you look at slide number seven, you should be able to, I'm gonna click on it so I can see it bigger, we have, you can see that we have a sort of a pink and red, pink and red, pink and red um, messenger RNA, and you cut the red parts out. And, and if you look at the, the pink parts, you see it's A, B, C, D, E, and F. And so you've got this copy of a gene that's been cut up into little pieces, and some of the pieces, the introns, are gonna be thrown away. So the in, introns go away. And so you're left with these pieces of RNA. And now those pieces of RNA, they get put back together. Sometimes they might be put back together A, B, C, or in my examples that I've given, A, C, D, or B, D, E, or A, E, F, and, and, and different combinations. You know, don't worry about, you know, the B and the D and the E, that end of it. It's just different combinations of exons. The exons are the important part. And so these things are put together, but you might see, so you think, well, wait a minute, that's building a protein. And we said that is gonna determine the sequence of the amino acids. So the way these exons are put together is going to be producing different proteins from one gene. So one gene, because of, the splicing, alternative splicing of the exons in the messenger RNA, those are those A, B, C, D, E, F, you put them together in different ways and, and we said, oh yeah, there's sequences of amino acids that are, that's a blueprint for. So you're ended up making a number of different proteins from that one gene. So, so, and we'll come back to this. I mean, well, I'm going to tell you now. Why not? Um, <laughs> might as well. Um, so, if you think about that, uh, when we were at the end of this talk, we're going to mention the Human Genome Project. And that's where they, they sequenced all of the genes in all of your 23 pair of chromosomes. And they came up with about 30,000 different genes. That was a shock because we knew before that that you, you, you need, that you have, you express about 90 some odd thousand different proteins. How is it possible? This, this is how it's possible. Each one of those genes can make multiple different proteins. So, so I've given away my thunder on that last slide, but who cares? All right, so, so we've got these mature messenger RNAs, and the, in our picture, our example would be um, the ACD, the BDE, and the AEF. So each one of those is gonna make a different protein. Now, how do we make those? We had said, th at this point, 
after you've cut out the introns and put these exons together as mature messenger RNAs, this is when it leaves the nucleus and goes out into the cytoplasm. We're going to talk about translation next.